Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. We're going to go live in about three minutes, so get your questions ready on Facebook and Instagram. We're talking about the diabetes epidemic, what you can do, steps you can take to help maintain your blood sugar. Even if you're not diabetic, you'll be amazed at the things you're going to learn. So get your questions ready. We're live in about three minutes. Or thereabouts. When you're on live radio, you never know. You got commercials, you got news, you got traffic, so never quite sure what's going to happen. And we're staying more local tonight. We'll be covering a lot of Atlanta things tonight uh, because with the uh, hurricane, well, now tropical storm uh, Florence, we have to talk about that. We're going to give you updates on uh, what's happening there. Uh, we're talking about uh, the convoy for care, which is really great. You can donate uh, water. Uh, cleaning supplies and diapers if you want to. It's going to be here at the WSB studios tomorrow and Tuesday. We'd love to have you come by and drop things off. Uh, we want to, we have, we, our goal is about 17 trailers that we can send up to North Carolina because uh, looking at the map right now and big rain right now over Raleigh, um, kind of between Raleigh and Charlotte, but Wil Wilmington uh, is still getting hammered and he's got another band coming through. So it's pretty rough for those folks up there. And we, we at WSB, we always love taking care of uh, everyone when we can. So if you can donate water uh, or diapers, unopened uh, uh, unopen boxes, of course, uh, and then cleaning supplies, if you can get that up to them, that'd be great. Drop off uh, yeah, Monday and Tuesday from 10 to 6 at the WSB Studios right here, 1610 West Peachtree Street. Yeah, bottled water, unopened boxes of diapers, and household cleaning supplies. So. Oh, got the traffic now. And there will be another coupon code tonight. Yes, another coupon code for Super Greens, the essential, all the supplements. All the supplements, right? Mm -hmm. okay. All supplements, individual purchases, no subscriptions necessary. That's right. Man, you guys are getting too generous. Man. And you're not going to give them free shipping, are you? Uh, we, may, we may only give them free shipping. Only free shipping? Man, you're way too generous. He knows. Got a funny story to tell you guys about uh, being pulled over at a uh, DUI stop last night at 12.30 at, 12 at night, whatever, at, at, in Clayton, Georgia. I've got a funny story for you, so make sure you tune into that. Well, stay tuned. Here we go. And it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Looks, he would be the Brad Pitt of radio. That's why you listen to Dr. Joe Esposito on WSB. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad we could spend a little time together. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, if you're being uh, affected by Florence, we will, our thoughts are with you. Believe me, here in Georgia, it looks like we got spared. Uh, Atlanta got spared. We had a little rain today and some wind, but really not bad. I'm looking at the map right now. And uh, still storm bands between Raleigh and Charlotte and Wilming Wilmington. Looks like another band is just about to come on and hit them too. So uh, they've got some problems up there. So we at WSB, we care. We care about you. And we're in partnership with Channel 2 Action News, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. And we're doing the Convoy of Care to help flood-ravaged communities in the Carolinas. And you've heard us, if you've listened to WSB all day, we've been talking about this. Now, if you can, we really want you, if you can, drop off water. Uh, unopened boxes of diapers and cleaning supplies, and you can drop them off tomorrow between uh, tomorrow and Tuesday between 20, 10 and 6 at uh, right here at the studio, uh, to which on West Peachtree Street. It's real easy; you can't miss it. If you pull up, you'll see the tractors. Uh, we're shooting for 17 tractors that we can send out to them. So, folks, we really need your help. Um, so, water, diapers, and cleaning supplies. Drop them off tomorrow and uh, Tuesday. Also, you can drop them off at Caring for Others Warehouse, and that's at uh, 3537. 
Browns Mill Road in Atlanta, but let's help out those folks. I'm sure they do it for us too. So we're doing today, we're talking about uh, diabetes and pre-diabetes and the epidemic that's across the country. And we really need to do something about this because many years ago, I made a prediction. And my prediction was that in a few years, half of America would be either diabetic and pre-diabetic. I kind of did the statistics and I kind of did an algorithm and that's what I thought. Well, guess what? Unfortunately, I was right. I don't want to be right on certain things, but this one I was. And about 14% of American population is type 2 diabetes and 38% is pre-diabetic. That's about 50% right there. 20% of the population is also obese. How many people do you know who are obese? Raise your hands. I used to be when I was a kid, so I get it. And it's tough. I went to a party this weekend uh, up in Clayton, Georgia. I got a funny story about that. I'll tell you in a second. And uh, my friend has a house on Lake Burton, and it's just been going there for years and years and years. It's just great. And folks, if you're listening, you're at the party. So great to see you guys again. And it was interesting because we sit around and inevitably, I, whenever I broke away, whenever I was by myself at the party, someone would come up to me and say, I know you hate talking shop, but let me ask you this question. And I don't mind this. Believe me, I, I don't mind this at all. But I was, uh, we, we took a little boat out and I'm sitting on a boat and you know, I'm chatting. He says, I know, Doc, you don't want to talk shop, but let me ask you a question. So everyone's got health questions. And I understand that. And that's why this show is so popular because we answer those questions for you. By the way, I'm going to open up the phone lines today. If you have a health care question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE, and we hopefully get you on the air. Um, but uh, we're talking about obesity. Seven million children in the United States now have something called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. What that is is years ago, we were taught when I went to school many, many years ago, 30 some odd years ago, that if you dissected or did, you know, did a biopsy on somebody and they had fatty liver, they were alcoholic. And it was just that simple. Now we have something called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and close to a third of the children are now either diabetic or pre-diabetic. And this non-alcoholic fatty liver syndrome comes from eating too much sugar. That's the main cause. So now we get, we're seeing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in four-year-olds and five-year-olds. And it's scary because we're seeing these kids develop these issues and the liver is really important. The liver does everything. Everything you eat, everything you drink filters through the liver at one point or another. And all your blood flows through the liver. It's a filter. And so you've got to be careful to take care of this liver and we're not doing that. Now, we're going to talk about some of the causes, and then we're going to talk about some foods that are ideal, not just for people that are diabetic and pre-diabetic, but for you. The things that you can do so you don't become that 50%. I'm not sure what the future is going to be. At 50% now, it's, it's not good. And I want to talk about sunlight, because again, as, as, as we start to go into fall here, we're not getting as much sunlight as we used to. Sunlight is so vital to your health. And you've got to get out in the sun. And even in the fall, get out for walks. Uh, try to expose, you know, your arms, your legs, your face, if, you know, comfortable-wise, temperature-wise. But in the winter, what's going to happen is we're going to get less sunlight. Like I have a sunroof in my car. I open it up. I put my arm out the window. I try to get as much sunlight as I can, even if I don't have time to go outside. But sunlight, UVB rays interact with cholesterol and create something called vitamin D3. Now, vitamin D3 really isn't a vitamin. It's a hormone. Where you're being lied to when you hear it's a vitamin, but it's what it's called. And vitamin D is so important for so many different things. And it's almost, it seems like every couple of weeks we come out with a new study that says this is why vitamin D is so important. It helps build bones, it helps your immune system. That's why in the winter I strongly advise that you supplement with vitamin D. Now you can get your blood work tested and that's when you get your blood work tested, people say, what should I ask for, Dr. Joe? Always get your vitamin D checked, get your B vitamins level, levels checked. You can get something called your C-reactive protein checked. And years ago, that wasn't standard. Now it is more standard in blood work. And that determines how much inflammation there is in your body. But get your vitamin D levels checked. But generally speaking, I personally take 5,000 international units of vitamin D a day once fall sets in, until spring again, when I'm out in the sun again. And you need that vitamin D. It's so vital. And, and I, I have people come in all the time and say, well, Dr. Joe, my doctor wrote me a prescription. And I take vitamin D. I take 5,000 international units a, a, once a week. Well, that's vitamin D2. That's a synthetic version. I'm not a big fan of synthetic supplements. They don't work as well. And the vitamin D2 has to be converted into vitamin D3. So why not just take vitamin D3? Solves the problem, doesn't it? And it's usually it's cheaper too. Let's see, it's cheaper, more effective. And I, then I spread it out. Because you can only absorb so much of anything at one point. And so if you're spreading it out throughout the week, 5,000 units a day, that's great. Now I know the, the recommended dose is about 800 international units a day. I personally don't think that's enough. 
but for me, I'm about 185 pounds, I take 5,000 a day. If you're half my weight, maybe half that dosage would work too. But you really need that vitamin D3. We have a supplement, it's on the website, drjoe.com, um, and it's uh, Dr. Joe's vitamin D with K2, because most people don't get enough K2. And K2 helps build, uh, helps your immune system, helps the bones. And a um, patient came in the other day and her doctor said, well, she shouldn't be taking vitamin K because she's on blood thinners, which is true. What you actually do is change your diet and then have the doctor monitor your blood work so he can monitor the, change the medication around your new diet. Uh, but she was saying, well, doc, there's a difference between K1 and K2. And he didn't know that. So she says, I printed up all the stuff and brought it to him. He goes, wow, that's really great. I appreciate you telling me that. So as a diabetic, but as anybody, if you want to control blood sugar, you really got to get out there in the sunlight, and vitamin D is going to be really helpful. So we're going to have to go to break, folks. If you have a health care question, give us a call. The number is 844-44-DR-JOE, uh, D-R-J-O-E. When we come back, I'm going to talk about what is type 2 diabetes versus type 1 diabetes and why your diet is such an important aspect if you want to help control your blood sugar. Again, the phone lines are open, 844-44-DR-JOE. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. If you're like most people, you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, headaches. Maybe it's time to stop suffering and it's time to take action. Have a if you're Hold sick on. and tired of being sick and tired, why don't you come see me and my team of doctors and let's see if you have a problem that we can help. Go to my website, drjoe.com or call 844-44-DR-JOE to make an appointment today because so many of you are out there suffering needlessly and we want to put a stop to that. Come see us at our offices in Marietta, Stockbridge, and Duluth. Make an appointment today so we can help get you well and keep you well. A story is okay. first. Okay, now I can talk, talk, that's how we talk in New Jersey, talk, to Facebook and Instagram. Do we have any questions, comments, thought processes? <clears throat> Here's one that just came in. Um, she says, I take your essential source and super greens. What can help curb my appetite? Okay, super greens and essential source usually helps that. What I find personally, and what I find in a lot of my patients, is if you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, the stomach is pushed up against the diaphragm and it's spasmed. And when that happens to me and a lot of patients, you, you can eat and eat and eat, but you just don't feel full. And I know this, when, when I get my stomach adjusted or pulled down away from the diaphragm, within minutes I start to feel full. So a couple of things about feeling full. Number one, you gotta drink enough water. Many times when you're hungry, you're not hungry, you're thirsty. So if you're dehydrated, we gotta get that water level way back up in your body. And so try drinking more water, see if that helps. Then you can also, when you take the super greens and essential source, and we're gonna talk about this today too in a little bit, maybe add a teaspoon of ground up flax seed or chia seeds, make sure you grind them up and grind them fresh. Don't let them sit around, they oxidize. And add that, and that fiber is gonna swell up in your stomach and that oftentimes makes you feel full as well. If we're still having problems, then you can start maybe adding a couple of handfuls of nuts or an avocado, because fat makes you feel full as well. And if it's still not working, then you probably gotta come see us, there's something else going on. What else you got? Uh, you know, and I wonder if that's not based on moving away from meat and dairy. I know for me, it, it took a little while to get used to mm -hmm. not having such rich food in my stomach. Very maybe, good point. Maybe 30 days, 60 days. Yeah, that's a very good point. Um, yeah, that's Garrett speaking. That's the voice of, of Gary here, by the way. Um, and that's true, too. If you just went to a plant-based diet, many times people say, oh, I'm starving. You'll get over it. Okay, it might take a little time. But that's a good point, too. Yeah. At 25, it took me anywhere from 30 to, to 60 days. Okay. Yeah, so give um, it a little time as you change your diet. Yeah. Will chiropractic help with varicose veins? This person's trying to not have surgery. It can, yes. Um, we, can we can never say will. Okay, we never make a promise in anything we, we do. But the nerves in the low back, as the nerves come out of the spine, the blood vessels and nerves wrap around each other as they exit the spine. So if you have back pressure, because you're pinching nerves, you're also pinching blood vessels in the low back. So what I do with varicose vein patients, I always check the nerves in the low back and, make sure they're, and, and the blood vessels, make sure they're not being pinched. Then we also have to look at your liver. Because the liver, we just talked about that as a filter, and every, all the blood flows through it. And if the liver's clogged up, you get back pressure. And that back pressure causes the veins to swell, and that could lead to varicose veins. So even if you have the surgery, what's going to happen is, and I have a good doctor I can refer you to, by the way, um, if you need the surgery. But even if you have the surgery and the liver is the problem, what's going to happen is you're just going to get more varicose veins. So either way, you always got to clean out the liver, and that should help. So chiropractic care and then liver cleansing should help. 
Uh, here's one in line with today's topic, and that is info on gestational diabetes. And talk about it. Keep listening. <laughs> there you go. Um, if we have time. <laughs> Now, what about an alternative for ulcerative colitis? Ulcerative colitis. Ul we always, we're gonna, what else are we going to get? We're going to get a CBD question today, an ulcerative colitis question today. And what, what's the other one we usually get? ED. Ere erectile dysfunction we're going to get to. Everybody has the same question. So, uh, Ulcerative colitis, yeah, you've got to calm down the colon. The colon is just all inflamed. So we're going to talk a little bit about leaky gut syndrome today, and that has a lot to do with it. Real quick, I'd say you've got to give up your wheat and your dairy. Not cut out, not cut back, cut out your wheat and your dairy products. That should help bring the inflammation down tremendously. Also, your stomach has to be able to digest food and pass it into the small intestine. If the stomach isn't breaking the food down properly, you're gonna have problems. So I would recommend Dr. Joe's digestive enzymes, and if you do have acid reflux, come see us and we'll pull the stomach away from the diaphragm. All right, gotta go back on the air, folks. So keep those questions coming. If you're on Facebook or Instagram, keep them coming. Or Twitch. We're on Twitch now, too. That's right. We're working on YouTube. YouTube. Everybody, wherever you are, send us your questions. Music Midtown shut down 10th Street between Piedmont and Monroe until later on this evening. Take Marta to the Midtown station if you're headed down that way. Jill Nelson, WSB. Dr. Joe Esposito, the President of the United States of Health. Now on News 95.5 at AM 750 WSB. Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you could spend a little time with me today. We're talking about the diabetic epidemic that's going around. It's, like it's popular now. Everyone seems to have it. And it's not just diabetes, it's pre-diabetes. And really what it really boils down to is getting the diet straight now. Because most people who have type 2 diabetes respond tremendously well to getting a diet straightened out. The problem is you got to straighten out your diet. And that requires a little bit of uh, work on your part. Now, as a chiropractor, whenever a diabetic comes in, I always, we, my team of doctors, we always check the mid-back because the nerves in the mid-back control the pancreas. So whenever somebody comes in with a specific organ issue, yeah, we want to diagnose it. We want to make sure that it's a chiropractic case that we can handle. If it's not, do we refer out with a medical doctor. We co-manage the case. Many medical doctors, hospitals say, well, this isn't a medical case. It's a chiropractic case. And so we refer back and forth all the time, which is great. But what we want to do there is, oh, whatever the organ is, check the specific nerve supply. And for diabetics, it's right around the mid-back, the sixth thoracic vertebrae, right in there. And uh, I had a patient, uh, somebody had a question about gestational diabetes. You know, it's diabetes when you're pregnant. And she said, the doctor said she couldn't leave the house. She was on bed rest. She couldn't move. And uh, she had to be really careful. And so we, we started adjusting her. And we did an experiment, and it was really cool. And we took her blood sugar before we adjusted her. And then we adjusted her waited about 10 or 15 minutes and took her blood sugar again, every time she came in, the blood sugar dropped down to normal. So in her case, there was a neurological component. There was a pinched nerve going to the organ that was affecting how the pancreas was functioning, which is pretty cool too. So we always want to look at the nerve supply on any case whatsoever. But with gestational diabetes, the same thing we're going to talk about as we go through the show today is what to do for it. Okay, so conventional medicine looks at type 2 diabetes as a problem with blood sugar. You have too high blood sugar. Well, that's true. However, that's not the cause. That's the symptom. Now, if you've listened to my shows before, you know, I always want to get to the cause of your healthcare problems and not just treat the symptoms. It's an improper signaling of the insulin. You become what's called insulin resistant. So let me explain that to you, Lucy. What happens is you eat sugar. And I talk about this a lot on my shows, but obviously a lot of people have quite, not everybody watches every show, which amazes me. I can't imagine people aren't listening to every show. What's wrong with you guys? So you eat sugar, your pancreas releases uh, insulin. Insulin uh, goes to the cells and acts like a key, opens up the cells and lets the sugar in. If you eat too much sugar, you produce a lot of insulin. And so the cells are being bombarded with insulin, trying to get them to open up and take in more sugar. And eventually the cells say, stop it, I can't take in any more sugar. And the cells become resistant to the insulin trying to open them up and dump the sugar in there. So now the cells become insulin resistant. So what happens is the sugar starts floating around in your blood. Sugar can't stay in your blood, it's slightly acidic, it can throw off what's called your pH, your levels of acid or alkaline in your blood, and that ultimately, if it gets too bad, and this isn't gonna do it, could kill you. So what did the body do? The body takes it and stores it as, as, as glycogen. Sugar gets stored as glycogen, but there's not a whole lot of place to store the glycogen. You only have so many cubby holes to put the sugar in. And glycogen is a reserve tank of fuel for later on usage. Uh, when you run out of sugar, then you can use glycogen. 
Once all the glycogen stores are filled up, the body says, uh-oh, I don't know what to do with all this sugar. It sends it back to the liver. Liver's a big topic today. Converts it into triglycerides, and triglycerides store it as fat. This is why when you eat sugar, you get fat, unless you're utilizing that sugar. You've got to be burning it up, but most of us aren't running like, an running like an Olympic athlete. And if you are an Olympic athlete, chances are you're not eating a lot of sugar anyway. So that's what type 2 diabetes is. It's insulin resistance. So the way we deal with that is we have to rigorously avoid high carbohydrate foods. Now we talk about sugar, you think table sugar. But you got to look at breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pasta, soda. Even at this party I was at this weekend. You know, you, it was funny because there were some thin people and there were some, some overweight people. And the thin people all sat around and there was some barbecue. I, I didn't eat any, of course. I don't eat meat. But they had a little bit of barbecue. No bread. And they had some kale salad. And they had some beans. And then the overweight people put the barbecue on bread. And then there was a dessert that came out. And then somebody made a cheesecake. And so the overweight people are eating the cheesecake and the thin people aren't. And I was just watching. And it was so clear what their lifestyle was just by looking at them. It's really neat. One of my friends, Barbara, was there. And she said, oh, my gosh, I listened to your show. I've learned so much. I even cut out my artificial sweetener, my chewing gum. With the artificial sweetener, I didn't realize how bad it was for me. But Barbara is very thin and, and, and very athletic. And you can tell that she's doing the right things and she's listening. And I always joked years ago about this is pick out somebody who you want to look like in the grocery store. Follow them around. Don't get caught. And just whatever they're buying, you buy. Put it in your cart. So you, you can see if, if you have a certain look about you, a healthy look, you're doing certain things. You don't get to that way without doing certain things. You know, one of, one of the people uh, that I was talking to, uh, he does Dr. Joe's intestinal cleanser. He says, Dr. Joe, he says, I, he works out. He's a very handsome man. He says, I'm, I'm working out. I'm eating good. He says, but I always, want, I always take your intestinal cleanser because as I got older, I found my bowels weren't working as well as they used to. And the intestinal cleanser really helps keep everything moving in my colon. And it works. I mean, think about it. You ever see, have any babies, right? Anybody have a baby, around a baby, was a baby? What happens is that baby eats and they poop and they eat and they poop. And you're thinking, how does this baby make this much diaper filler? Well, what happens is the baby's digestive system is working efficiently. And then as we get older, we mess it up. And so it's a good idea to get back to the ways of, of, of eating right. And we check the nerve supply in the low back as a chiropractor because the nerves in the low back control the colon, the sex organs, and the bladder. So if you have colon, sex organs, and bladder problems, you always want to check the nerves in the low back. And you got to get on a high fiber diet and you got to avoid the carbohydrates. So this isn't just for people with diabetes and prediabetes. This is how healthy people stay healthy. It's not hard to figure out. So if you're eating poorly, chances are your metabolism is skewed. You're messy, you're producing too much insulin. That causes your body to lay down fat. Then we get what's called a, a syndrome X, it was called a metabolic syndrome where you get overweight, high, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, belly fat, and of course, you get into the type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. So my thought is this. You have to eat anyway. Why not eat good food? It's just that simple. If you don't know what to eat, as I wrote a great book. It's called uh, uh, Eating Right for the Health of It. It's on my website, drjoe.com. If you go to my website, I want you to watch the first video in your, in your classes today are the seven, is the seven deadly sins of nutrition, the seven foods you want to avoid. The second video, it's actually an audio, is um, so what can I eat? And then we talk about what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat. And then you gotta make sure the nervous system is working properly. If you have pinched nerves, you gotta get those fixed. Because if a bone is out of place pinching a nerve, all the supplements and all the exercise and all the drugs and all the surgery isn't gonna put those bones back in place and take the pressure off the nerves. You need to get us to do that. Well, a chiropractor, not necessarily us, but uh, in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge, and we'd love to be your doctors. Make an appointment. Go to my website, drjoe.com. Make an appointment to come see us. Stop suffering needlessly. So many people suffer, and they say when they come in, the biggest complaint I get by far, Dr. Joe, why didn't I do this sooner? Why did I suffer for so long? In fact, I adjusted a friend of mine just this weekend, and her, instantly her hip felt better. And she goes, I've been suffering for two years. Don't suffer, folks. DrJoe.com. Hey, listen, got to go to break. <clears throat> if you have a healthcare question, give me a call, 844-44-DR-JOE. We'll be right back. All right, we got a brand new week's up here. One grain, one grain bread oh, right here. That was loud. <clears throat> yes. All right. Any more questions? Or and There's an advertisement for bread. <laughs> I know. How ironic, right? Yes. Um, yes. So we've got one, one person um, 
they're taking some supplements that include B12, D3, DHA, EPA. Will taking a central source on top of this be overdoing it? No, not at all. No. Uh, B complexes, it doesn't take a whole lot of B complex to, to overdose, and you'll pee it out, is what it is. So uh, the water soluble vitamins are usually very safe. The DHA and the EPA, you want to be shooting for about a gram a day. That's omega 3 fatty acids. You want to shoot for about a gram a day. Um, the super green is the essential source. It, I take a, a, an additional supplement for the, for the omega 3s as well. So you should be absolutely fine. In fact, you should see that they work together very nicely. And the super green is the essential source. You can get it at the website, drjoe.com. And um, do we have a special code? We're not going to give it out yet? Not yet. All right, special code, folks. I think it's going to be free shipping. I'm not sure, though. So, another question. Um, so this person had their gallbladder <coughs> removed a year ago. Ooh, I'm do sorry. I need to take bile salts? It's not a bad idea because your, your gallbladder stores bile. And what your gallbladder does, it's, a, it's like a reserve tank. And when you eat fat, it squirts bile or dish soap, if you want to, into the small intestine to break down the fats. So one of the things that works pretty well uh, for people that are, ha if you're having any problems, is you might want to consider bile salts. Now, if you're not having problems, you're eating a good diet, chances are you don't need them. So the question is, are you willing to change your diet enough to get to the point you don't need them? But yeah, bile salts is not a bad idea if you're not eating the pristine diet, which is what you should be doing. Are we going to be talking today about pre-diabetes? Yes. Okay. It's coming up. So stay tuned for that stay one. Stay tuned for that. On and deck. the same person was asking about metformin. Metformin, yes. That's a medication. And it, they use it to uh, help utilize the, 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 the sugars in your body. Um, does it work? Yes. Does it solve the problem? No. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to talk about is if you change your diet, get on a high fiber diet, list of foods I want you to add to your diet, how hopefully you then can avoid taking a medication. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not telling you to take drugs or not take drugs. I'm telling you if you get healthy, chances are you won't need the drugs. Now, somebody mentioned earlier about how long it would take, and we got another question about how long does it generally take for a vegan diet to begin helping in the reversal of type 2 diabetes. Now, of course, it's based on weight and age. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of things. It probably take, it's probably starts working in about a minute, maybe two. Uh, but to see the results, yes. um, it, it's going to take several weeks probably. But that being said, I've had people go to a high-fiber plant-based diet, and within two days, their blood sugar is like, it's a miracle. And their doctors will say, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. And a lot of times people say, well, I, I started doing what Dr. Joe said. And most doctors know who we are. And they'll go, whatever Dr. Joe says, just do it. If it's working, keep doing it. So, yeah, once you get on a plant-based diet, you want to get to about 50 grams of fiber a day. Uh, 50 to 70 grams of fiber a day. That's a lot of fiber. And you get that by eating a plant-based diet, and you'll be fascinated what happens. And you can grind up flaxseed or chia seeds. We'll talk about that later on the air. Um, and maybe add a teaspoon of that when you mix your super greens, your essential source together, uh, and that'll help get those bowels cleaned out and look, because the sugar slowly passes through the colon on a high fiber diet, a little bit gets absorbed, and it takes the stress off the pancreas and the cells and everything seems to work normally again. So yeah, it, it can happen very quickly. Mm -hmm. But don't be disappointed if it doesn't, it might take a couple of days. What was the hardest, I guess, for you to, to break? Meatball sandwiches. Train? Meatball sandwiches, yeah. Meatball sale, I always said, when I first got into this, before I, it was uh, Christmas Day 1986 is the last time I had any meat, which was spare ribs, by the way. I'm not going to lie to you, they tasted good. But it took me a few months of thinking before I pulled the trigger on this thing. And I thought scallops, butter, meatball sandwiches, and double beef cheeseburgers would be the toughest thing for me to give up. And now we have vegan butters now, which taste just as good, I guess, or better than butter I haven't had in 34 years. Um, meatball sandwiches is just a joke. I, I, I play with that. I mean, I'm fine. I mean, if I never have one again, I'm fine. Um, scallops, they even have mushrooms now. There's a, a certain kind of mushroom that's supposed to look and taste like scallops. I haven't tried it yet. But even the smell of fish now, just I, I just don't like it. I just, meh. Mm. So, um, yeah, you, 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 you will get over it. It wasn't hard, really. It was really easy and really cheap. Oh, my gosh. In fact, I got it. I'll talk about this on the air. Funny text about eating cheap as a vegan. My, I guess one of the things that I missed forever was wings. Sure. I just really wanted wings. And we were at, the, at a Braves game, wearing my Braves hat right yes, now, but um, we were at a Braves game and we had the, the nice seats with the free buffet and uh -huh. I had three wings. Mm -hmm. Three wings. It took me five days to get over those three wow. wings. Wow. <laughs> never touch a wing again. 
yes. I completely, it just killed the urge to want a wing, because now I feel, you know, it, it like kicks in almost immediately as I think about the wing. The thought of it, yeah. Burn, the, yeah. It's just so much. They have vegan wings now, by the way. You can try them and see. I mean, I don't know if they're as good as the ones with the hair on them, the feathers and stuff, and the wings, and the cartilage, and the fat and everything. I don't know if they're as good as that. Uh, but they have them, and they're fine. Because really, with the wing, it's not the wing, it's the sauce. Yep. That's so good. So I remember when I first got into this, I, I went to a wing place. And they had a wing sauce that didn't have any butter in it. And I got french fries. And I dipped the french fries in the wings and broccoli and dipped it in the wing sauce. It was okay. You know, it kind of gave me an idea of wings. So. Are you in traffic already? My goodness. It's quick. That was quick. Yeah, it's quick, quick. Not, not a lot of news today. Just the um, top of the floor. Here, here's, here's the weather. Monday, a mix of clouds and sunshine, high 89. Tuesday, a mix of sun and clouds, a thunder shower possible, high 88. Wednesday, sunshine, high 91, low 70. 76 degrees on Pete Street Street at News, news break today. And AM 750 WSB. Good, more time for us. You're wrong. Listen to Dr. Joe Esposito every week on WSB. Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad we spent a little time together. We're talking today about diabetes and prediabetes and blood sugar, and it's an epidemic. It's everywhere. 50% of Americans that I predicted many years ago would become diabetic or pre-diabetic. And I hate to say Dr. Joe was right, but Dr. Joe was right. And I don't want to be right on that. Now, uh, folks, we're, we're covering uh, uh, Tropical Storm Florence. There's going to be updates on WSB. Uh, uh, Kirk Mellish and the WSB Storm Center is going to give you the latest on Florence and the impact on us. It looks like we got spared, which is great. Um, but it's affecting, I'm looking at the map right now, Raleigh and, and Wilmington and still hitting pretty hard up there in North Carolina. So if you go to WSBRadio.com, you can get an update on that. And uh, also, we're going to have a convoy for care coming up uh, starting tomorrow and Tuesday. And if you have water, diapers, um, or cleaning supplies, come by the WSB studios here. And it's on West Peachtree Street. You'll see the tractor trailers. Our goal is 17 tractor trailers, and companies are donating the tractor trailers, which is just amazing. Thank you so much if you're listening to that. And bring your water, uh, uh, boxes of diapers, and cleaning supplies, and we will ship them up to our neighbors, to our northeast. Um, but we need your help. We really do. And we're teaming up with Channel 2 News. So come by the station, or you can go to uh, Caring, uh, uh, Caring for Others Warehouse. There you go, 3537 Browns Mill Road in Atlanta, and you can drop them off there as well. But uh, WSB listeners, you guys are the best, absolutely positively. That's why we're number one, because of you. And we really want your help. And if you have it, donate it. You'll feel good. They'll appreciate it. And you know what? They would do it for us if we needed it, too. So uh, hopefully you can do that tomorrow uh, from six to t uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., tomorrow and Tuesday. So we're talking today about uh, uh, diabetes and blood sugar. And you really got to avoid uh, the high-carb foods. Uh, and that's tough because we like to eat high-carb foods. I do. Uh, but you can't, because if you do, you're going to have problems. Now, the good news is that insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, which is we get fat and high blood pressure, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, in most cases is resolved with proper nutrition, and then you can use, add exercise to that so that the cells require more sugar, and so now the cells allow insulin to open them up and bring the sugar in. So one of the most important things you can think about, and this is for everyone, if you want to maintain health, if you want to lose weight, if you want to stay young, is something called you're limiting your net carbs or net carbohydrates. Now, what that is, is you mark, and you can go to my website, drjoe.com, and we have a, a, a diet diary that you can print up. It's free. It's under patient forms. So just print it up. I, I, you can print up a hundred of them. I don't care. It's, it's my gift to you. And start writing down everything you eat. And then you could look up online uh, what, uh, how many carbs there is and how many grams of fiber there is. So let's assume something has 10 grams of fiber, uh, 10 grams of carbs, I'm sorry. But as five grams of fiber, your net carbs are the 10 minus five, your net gram carbs are five. Did you follow that? And so you wanna shoot for about 50 grams of net carbs for every thousand calories that you eat. If you can do 50 grams a day, that's even better. And you shouldn't eat a whole lot more than a thousand calories anyway, maybe 15, 1800. So you're looking for about 50 net carbs a day. And if you could start doing that, and ideally you do 40, uh, but that's, that's hard. I'm, I'm making it easy for you. 15 different grams of net carbs a day. If you can maintain that forever, you're eating the right foods in most cases. I mean, I'm assuming that. 
Uh, so it's pretty easy to do once you start breaking it down. And then you can, you know, you hear a lot, and, and people always ask me, you know, what about the keto diet? What about the, the Atkins diet? Um, it, you really got to find out what works for you. Because some people do better on a higher protein diet, some people do better on a higher fat diet, some people do better on a higher carbohydrate diet. But if you're going to do carbs, it's got to be complex carbs. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds. Because again, you've got the fiber in there, and the fiber is going to slowly push it through your colon. Then we're going to talk about resistant carbs in just a second, but we have a caller. And folks, if you have a question, give us a call. Uh, it's 738 right now, and um, the phone number here is 844-44-DR-JOE to WSB Studios. Chuck, how can we make your day better? I'm happy you called. Good man. Okay. Right. Good. Right. Okay. Sure. Wow. Yes. Sure. Uh, right. Uh huh. Well, once a day is what's recommended, but for someone like you, and for me, as, as a matter of fact, because like last night I was up at a party up in uh, North Georgia and I didn't get to sleep till like one o'clock and I, I woke up early and so I was tired today. So I took it a second dose today. So absolutely positively, you can take a second dose. If you're taking it once a day and bringing down your sugar by 40%, do it twice a day. Let's see if it goes to 60 or 80%. Wow, that's high. Amazing, isn't it? That's super great. Yeah. That super greens an essential source is just great. Wow. Uh huh. Dr. Dave in Stockbridge, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, well, well, chiropractic. I've se I've seen it work very well with diabetics, not just gestational, but people like you as well. Um, yeah. So when yeah, when Dr. Dave adjusts you. Um, he'll, I'm sure he's going to check your sixth thoracic. He always does, and s then monitor that. And name it, that that along with the super greasy essential source is probably the combination that's brought your blood sugar down 40 percent. And how many? How long did it take? Within a week. Okay, so your blood, sh amazing. So no drugs, right? Nothing else. Just the super greasy essential source and the adjustments. Yeah. Oh, so I'm not saying don't take right. Sure. Yeah, no, keep taking the medication. And my goal is not to tell you to stop taking medication. Uh, my goal is to get you well enough that you don't need the medication. Yeah, and that's great. Okay. Excellent. Excellent, man. We like we hang out with good people, we chiropractors. So, yeah, try doubling up on the Super Greasy Essential Source. If you see another improvement, give us a call. Let us know. Mix, mix them together. Take a scoop of each. You'll be happy with that. Thanks, Chuck. Appreciate the call. Yeah, that's really cool. So here's a guy, Chuck. He, 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 like you said, he thought he was we were just you know another guy trying to sell a product. He went we went ahead and bought it, and within a week his blood sugar dropped forty percent. That's pretty neat. So folks, I, again, it's like every time I do a show, I keep talking about super greens and essential source. Super greens and essential source. I sound like a broken record. I created these because it's the minimum amount of nutrients your body needs every day. Somebody just sent me a message on Facebook. Why do you think this is good? Well, I don't know. Have you never listened to any show ever? I don't know. It's the minimum amount of nutrients that you need. Prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, complete multivitamin, fruits and vegetables in a powder form with the sugar taken out. That's why it's so great for diabetics. And like I said, I had a, I had a busy night last night. I was up late, so I had a double dose today. And I'll tell you a little funny story about why it's good to live this lifestyle. And when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, tracking your net carbs and then resistant starches. This is really cool. You're going to like this. If you're going to eat starches, this is how you have to eat them. So one, uh, 12, 20, 12, 30, I'm driving through Clayton last night and there's a, a DUI stop. No, I don't drink, so it doesn't matter to me. Pulls over, 
Cop looks at me, says, hey, just checking uh, licenses. So I can hand him my license, looks at my license, looks at me, looks at my license, looks at me, he goes, I know you. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> he said, I said, from WSB Radio? He goes, yeah. And this guy, big mountain of a man, he just melts. He goes, oh my God, I love your show. I said, great, man. And I handed him one of my cards. He shook my hand. I got his name and everything. And he says, wow. He says, I, I, and, and it was just so cool that here it was, 1220 at night. He's looking for drunks in and and Clayton, Georgia, which is way north. And it was really neat. So the, the word gets out. People love this information because who doesn't want to get healthy? Everybody wants to get healthy. Everybody wants to live longer. Why wouldn't you want to do that? And had I been drinking, I may not be doing my show right now. Another reason to avoid the seven deadly sins. Folks, got to go to break. If you have a healthcare question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. My website, if you want to get Super Greens, Essential Source, the Vitamin D, the other supplements, uh, well over 1,000 hours of podcast, drjoe.com. If you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. We would love to be your doctors, drjoe.com. Hey, don't go anywhere. I got to go to break. We'll be right back. Does this sound like you? Neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches? Chances are you'd benefit from chiropractic care. Most people benefit from chiropractic care because chiropractic care tries to get to the cause of your problems and not just cover up the symptoms. If you're ready to get well, I want you to go to my website, drjoe.com, or call 844-44-DR-JOE and make an appointment for you, your friends, and your family today. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Make an appointment today so we can help get you well and keep you well. Ready to start those long overdue home renovations? All right, or sorry, it's got a funny text. <laughs> trying to text a friend of mine and she said my phone is at the bottom of the lake at six legs so <laughs> that's why she wasn't returning my texts all right yes questions we had a couple of questions on what kind of juice the guy was using and i know we didn't ask but yeah it got me thinking about the little juice boxes as kids yeah well he shouldn't have been using the juice actually because the juice is high in sugar oh, i mixed mine today which is water cold water it's great i like it with cold juice is better than cold cold water um because it's sweet already, so you don't have to do anything. If you want to use coconut milk, ramen milk for a real treat, woo -hoo, you can try that. Um, but again, I didn't want to tell him, hey, you shouldn't be using juices because the guy's blood sugar dropped 40% in one week. And the only thing he did differently was taking super greens and essential source. So I didn't want to pick on him. But water or uh, like a coconut milk would be a better choice. Yeah. And with that, we had the question, considering it's a fruit juice, Fruit juices are going to be high in, in sugars, but then what about the fruit themselves? Fruits are high in sugar. Absolutely. But why is that the healthy alternative? Ah, for you're jumping ahead of me. I'll ah. give you a preview. I'll give you a preview. You want a preview now? You want to wait till the show? I'll give you a preview. I'm going to give you a preview because uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it live on the air. Fruit has fiber in it, and fiber slowly pushes the food through the colon and gets a slow release of sugar. So that's why that's a good idea. Okay. If you do the fruit juice, you're getting a high concentration of fructose, and I'll try to cover that when we come back on the air. And fructose converts into uric acid. Uric acid gets in your joints and it hurts. And as chiropractors, all day, every day, patients call us, literally seven days a week. Doc, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, I'm in pain. And so we can give them the best chiropractic care in the world, but you have to stop putting uric acid into your body, causing the joints to hurt. So that's the uric acid is produced. Uric acid prevents nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide increases the circulation. And that's a big issue too. So um, that's why I'm not a big fan. Okay. And, and with that, um, sugar, we have one guy that mentions that sugar shortens telomeres. Yes. Is that also the case with fruit? That's, that's my question. Fructose, well, it w no, because you get, you get a slow release of it. It's when it's high concentration, the fruct and the fructose has to be converted into glucose. Mm -hmm. And that's where the problem comes in. So you need some sugar. But when you start doing excessive sugar or concentrated sugar or processed sugar, that's when you start to get the problems. So, yeah, too much sugar will shorten tell them you're some of it will actually help your body. So. Now, off the, the supplements that we offer, uh, we have one person that's already taking our essential source, super greens, the adrenal support, nitric oxide, and the probiotics. Should they also be taking the, the B complex? I do, personally. Um, my thought is this, do it for a month and see how you feel. Okay, chances are, it depends how old you are too, how, how good your digestive system is, if you're absorbing the B vitamins or not. I take them, at my age I take them and it really helps me a lot. Um, but the Super Greens Essential Source has a lot of B in it already. Okay, if you look at the Essential Source, um, you know, you're looking at 80%, 100%, 100%, so it's pretty good too, but I like to take it as an addition because you're not going to overdose on it. That's my thought process. And it says take two, maybe 
Take stretch it out with the essential source. That's true too. That'll work too. And we will have a coupon code if you want to try it. Okay, we're gonna have a coupon code. Oh, by the way, too, we're gonna to talk about this. We have an in-office special. If you come by the office and pick it up, buy three get one free of the Super Greens the Essential Source. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Am I right on that? Okay. In in person only. Anyway, and, and the offices are in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge, Virginia, Atlanta area. I know this is all over the world. So, sorry if you're not all over the world. But I think Garrett's going to give you a free shipping code. I think he's going to give that to you today. I'm not sure. Rumor has it. We'll, we'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> if uh, so, let's say you have a family of uh, a family history of type two diabetes. Yes. Are you more prone or can that cycle be broken? Oh, absolutely. Type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance. And if we cut out the sugar, the cells become more receptive to the insulin. So the answer is a resounding yes. I've got to listen in here now, folks. Uh, uh, ramps begin. Gotta be ready to go live. Just a little bit of onlooker slow down back toward Freedom Parkway. Down on the south side, not too unusual weekend travel delays at all. It's going to take you 10 minutes to travel 75 northbound from exit 216, highway 155, up to the 675 split. Nine minutes from there up to 285. Southbound on 75 is a nine minute trip from 285 to the 675 merge. 10 more minutes down to highway 155 in McDonough, Jill Nelson, WSB. True independence comes from feeling good and staying out of the doctor's office. Get stronger and healthier with Dr. Joe Esposito on News 95.5 and AM 750 WSB. Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you're with us today. Always a pleasure to have you on board. And uh, we're talking today about diabetes and the, the diabetes, ep diabetes epidemic and what you need to do to help with it. And, and somebody just sent in a message and they said they have a family history of type 2 diabetes. Is there anything that can be done? And the answer is a resounding yes, probably. I mean, I can never guarantee results, of course. Uh, but we talk about in, it's, it's insulin resistance. Your cells are not allowing insulin to open up the cells and let sugar in. And so if you have a genetic predisposition to that, you just have to work a little harder than everybody else. But so what? Is it worth it? Absolutely. I tell you what, folks, I've been sick and I've been well in my life. And it's much more fun being healthy than being sick. When I was a kid, I was overweight, I was fat, I had um, sinus problems constantly, um, I bit my fingernails, I was always stressed out, um, digestive problems, so I was a sick kid. And what, of course, what we did at, the po at that point, you had a sinus problem where they give you antibiotics. Well, antibiotics kill off the good and the bad bacteria, so the good bacteria weren't able to fight the bad bacteria, so guess what? The problem got worse and got, you know, got stuck in a cycle there. And so what I finally did, it took me years of, of realizing where the problems were, and I don't want you to suffer and have a miserable health uh, history like I did. You, you don't have to. Learn from my mistakes. You can make your own mistakes in other areas, but health-wise, you don't have to make those mistakes anymore. You can be healthy real easy. Get the nervous system working, get the digestive system working, and get good nutrition in the body. Now, the reason these low-carb, these no, low-net-carb diets work for diabetes is it helps you shift out of the metabolism that you're in you know, trying to force sugar into the cells, into the cells working more efficiently. It's like tuning up your car. When you tune it up, it works more efficiently. And that's what I want you to do with your body. Tune it up. You tune up your air conditioner. You tune up your car. You clean the filters in your house. Nobody ever, well, until you listen to the shows, nobody works on their own body to tune it up. So it's not hard. It's so easy and it's so inexpensive. And never, ever, 34 years of practice, has anyone ever come to me and said, Dr. Joe, I did everything you said and I wish I never had? Because they feel better. So why not do that? Get the nervous system and digestive system working. Take this, at least take the super greens, the essential source, please. That's the minimum amount of nutrients you should take. And I understand that, uh, keep listening, we're gonna give you a special code. Um, is, can I tell them what it's for? Go right okay. ahead. Okay, it's a free shipping. Free shipping on a special code this week for the supplements. So. Uh, if you keep listening, we're going to give you that code at the end. And if you come by any of our offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge, buy three, get one free. I, I, I don't know how to make it easier for you. And patients take it. They're very, very happy in most cases. Hey, if you have a healthcare question, give us a call. Lines are open, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. That number, by the way, rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air, so that if you want to make an appointment, you have questions, uh, you want to pick up your supplements there, you can do that. So back to the net carbs. Most important number you want to track is your net carbs. So if you're eating carbs, which you you, know, you shouldn't be, but you want uh, processed carbs, you want to make sure you're getting a fiber along with it. Dr. Joe's intestinal cleanser, very good for keeping those bowels moving. Uh, you can get fiber, I'm going to talk about that now, superfoods that you can eat to stabilize your blood sugar. 
Now, I know we're talking about diabetes, and you're thinking to yourself, I don't have diabetes. Why the heck am I listening to this show? How would you like more energy? How would you like to get rid of your brain fog? How would you like to sleep better? How would you like to have your love life improve? How would you like to have better circulation? All of these things happen when you stabilize your blood sugar. I don't see a downside to doing this. I promise you a story. I got a text today from one of my patients, and she's down in Honduras. And she said, I had to send you this. It's a picture. It's a big, big uh, picture of a plate of vegetables and, and, and uh, healthy foods. And she said she's in Honduras on, at work, and she, did, she didn't know what to order, so she ordered um, a fish dish, and they, she said, please don't bring the fish to me. So instead of charging her the whole price, they didn't charge her anything because she didn't order the fish. She just got a plate of vegetables. So it couldn't be cheaper than free. I don't know if that's going to happen very often. But I tell you, it's so much less expensive to eat well. Last night at this party I was at, I had some baked beans and uh, coleslaw. I made a, 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 a coleslaw, vegan of course. And then the other foods that were there, avocados and nuts, and I was full. I couldn't even eat anymore. I slept great, feel great. Other folks maybe drank a little more than they should have, not feeling so good today. So I understand it's tough. Now, if you're overweight, we're going to talk about that too and how that affects diabetes and affects leptin. People always come to us all the time and say, Dr. Joe, I need to lose weight. 50% of you need to lose weight statistically. So we do something called doc the Doctor Supervised Weight Loss Program. And we get, put you on a 21-day, we call it a cleanse, for lack of a better word. Um, but we get you on a good diet. We get you taking some fiber, a bunch of supplements, super green essential source, and some other supplements. And for 21 days, we, we kind of reboot and reset your brain, and that helps with the cravings. And then we go into step two, and one of my secretaries, uh, we just finished it last week, she lost almost 20 pounds in three weeks. Now, now she says it's the easiest thing she's ever done, and she feels great because it's not, you're not depriving yourself of anything. You're loading your body up with nutrition as opposed to depleting your body of nutrition. So if you want information about that, you can call the office at 844-4-DR-JOE, and you can ask for Kayla or Tara. They're the ones that can, anybody can do it, but they're the good ones. Uh, not the good ones, they're the ones that are in that area. So, so we're going to talk. No, we're not, are we? No, okay, we've got about two minutes here. Okay, again, if you have a healthcare question, lines are ringing now, 844-4-DR-JOE. Those number rings throughout our offices. If you want to make an appointment to come see us, Marietta Duluth and Stockbridge, as chiropractors, we'll check your nervous system, your digestive system, and your diet. We put together a whole protocol for you. We want to get to the cause of your problems and not just treat the symptoms. So stop suffering. Stop eating bad foods. You have 100% control over your diet. Stop doing it. Why are you eating pizza and then feeling miserable in the afternoon and going home at night and then eating a glass of wine because you're exhausted and then falling asleep? Why not just eat a good meal, have all that energy at work. You'll do a lot better, probably get a raise. Then you'll have a life too. <gasps> a what? A life? You mean I don't have to fall asleep every night? No, you don't. You can go out and have fun at night and then sleep, of course, afterwards. And that's the cool part is you get so much more quality and quantity out of your life by making some simple changes. Call her before. Took Super Greens an essential source for one week. Lowered his blood sugar by 40%. That's why I said every time we do a show, there seems to be something that Super Greens an essential source is probably going to help you with. At least do that, folks. That's on the website, drjoe.com. Also available on Amazon, too. But the vitamin D we talked about, Dr. Joe's B-complex, the digestive enzymes, uh, the adrenal support. I take Super Greens Essential Source Adrenal Support and B-complex every day. And nitric oxide, we're gonna talk about that too. Nitric oxide opens up your blood vessels. In fact, that was one of the topic of conversations this weekend with my guy friends. I heard you talk about the nitric oxide on the air, Joe. Uh, tell me a little more about this. Because it opens up your blood vessels to your brain, to your reproductive organs, everywhere. So you feel good, but you work better too. So it's got to go to break. If you have a healthcare question, give me a call, 844-4-DR-JOE. My website, drjoe.com. Well over a 1,000 hours of podcasts there, all free. Uh, if you have questions, send them to me through the website. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Uh, the supplements, of course, are there. My books are all there. We want to get you well and keep you well. We want to be your doctors. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. So stop suffering. Let's start getting you well. Hey, don't go anywhere. I've got to go to a break. We'll be right back. Millions of fans agree. That's loud. This <clears throat> well, Trans Siberian Orchestra saw that last year. It was awesome. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, but I digress. We got a question. So, of course, after the, the person had asked, you know, I'm taking all these Dr. Joe supplements, should I also take the B complex? And someone mentioned, why don't we have something that includes everything? Well, the, super, the essential source is very close to that. 
sometimes people just need individual things. Like people say, why don't you mix the super greens and essential source together? Well, that's a good idea, but then it's some people want to just do one. Some people just want to do the other. Um, I agree with you. We should have something that has everything in it. However, it's not really practical because it would be a lot to take. And not everybody needs B vitamins. Well, eventually we'll be like the Jetsons and just take one pill. One pill. <laughs> da, 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 da. If Ahmad could hear that, he'd be playing the Jetson music for us. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you mentioned being overweight mm -hmm. when you were younger. Yes. Could you explain a little bit of what it was like getting to be a vegan and then how you used veganism and the plant-based diet and exercise to get in shape and stay in shape? Yeah, well, I was fat. I was young. I was probably 10, 11 years old. And I couldn't, I, I couldn't play baseball with my cousins. My cousins, Johnny Pauly and Mikey in Lyndhurst, New Jersey. They live right across the street from a school that had a big paved area. And we'd go out there and play stickball, and they'd run and jump, and I couldn't keep up with them. And we'd play manhunt late at night. We'd go hide and everything, and I couldn't keep up with them. And finally, I just said, I don't want to be fat anymore. I don't. I'm, I want to be. I want to keep up with my cousins. So I, my thought process was, if I filled up my stomach with water, I wouldn't eat so much food. Little did I know, boy, was that ever brilliant. So I started drinking a lot of water. We had a oh gosh, what was it? Quick shake maybe. It was a brown cup, you put a lid on it, it was like a breakfast shake, like a carnation instant breakfast or something like that. And we'd shake it up and um, uh, we'd drink it because my, my whole family was overweight, unfortunately. And um, I just took that cup every night. I drank like two of those before dinner every night. And then I drank them at lunch too. And I filled up with water, but that helped uh, my brain work more efficiently. And I started losing weight, so it was pretty cool. And then that was when I was younger. And then vegans started, you know, like I said, about 26 years ago. And um, 26? 1986, I'm sorry, so 1986, so, um, and I was studying nutrition, I was working on my first degree, I have seven degrees and, and certification, uh, 23 certifications, um, and I was studying nutrition, and I thought, what diet makes sense? I thought, and I said, well, you got, you know, you got the high protein, low protein, high carb, low carb, Atkins, and so the only thing that made any sense to me, oh, got lower, lower Jennifer there, the only thing that made sense to me was the plant-based diet. We call it the vegetarian now, now it's called plant-based because people are vegetarian, but they eat brownies and cookies and cakes and donuts and going, I'm a vegetarian. Well, just because you don't eat meat and dairy products and animal products doesn't mean you're healthy. A plant-based diet means most of the food comes from a whole plant base. So I, I, I just made sense to me. So that's when I decided I'm going to do the thing that's mo most logical. I was like, try to live, live a logical life. And that's what makes sense. So that's how, how old I got was that? What? How old were you then? It was 1986, so how long ago was that? <clears throat> 96, 2006, 2016, so 30, 32 years ago. Yeah. So I was three. Yeah, I was three years old when that happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With one degree. With one degree, I say. I only had one degree at that time at three years old, right? So. <laughs> um, if we have time, what are your thoughts on tofu? Not. A, I, I, I like it. I enjoy eating it. Um, if you're going to eat, it's got to be organic. Now, that being said, you go out for dinner, and you're at a restaurant, Chinese, Thai, whatever like that, you want to have some tofu that's not organic. You know what? That's not going to kill you. If that's your biggest sin, that's okay. However, tofu is not a good thing as a, as a regular source uh, because it's made with soybeans. Most soybeans are genetically modified. That's why you want to do at least the organic. Uh, it can be a little hard to digest. Um, and it has uh, phytates in it, which can prevent you from absorbing calcium properly and iron. So it's good periodically. I like it. You know, people say, what do you have as a treat? Well, tofu for me is a big treat, but I do like it. Yeah. But make sure it's organic. Uh-oh. He's doing something. He's resetting. It's a little bit of Yoda. Okay. <laughs> Over three decades, you've got to be a, a Jedi. That's right, man. <laughs> um, it's a lot of salad in three, 30 years, so... <laughs> So, as a 32-year vegan, yes. what did you eat today? What did you eat today? Well, I woke up at, uh, at my friend Fred's house. Uh, well, I woke up at a hotel in Clayton. Um, my friend Tim and I shared a room, and Tim snores like crazy. So, if Tim's listening, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm busting you, man. Um, so, I didn't sleep very well last night. And uh, so, we went back to Fred's house. And the reason I got a hotel is because so Fred has this amazing house. It's like the coolest house ever in the history of the universe. He's got a little shack with a men's sleep. It's, it was a fishing shack. And it's got, one, two, three, four, seven, nine, let me see, six, 12, probably 22 little bunk beds in this little old shack. And this might, might, might be, I don't know, 50, 80 years old. And then he built a house next to it. And 
When I said he built it, Fred built it personally by himself. And he built one, he built two car garage. Imagine two car garage and above it, he had like a little dance floor and a fireplace and a kitchenette and, and a bathroom. And it was just to be a place to have dance parties. Well, you couldn't, it was on a cove, you couldn't see the lake, yes? And guys, five seconds and we'll be right back on Instagram. Can I go now? Yeah. Okay. So then anyway, it's on a cove, so you couldn't see the, the, the whole lake. So he built another level, put two bedrooms there and another bath. Then he built another level, still couldn't see the lake. Then he built another level and he built a cupola. This beautiful, tall house that Fred built. And between the two houses, you sleep like 56 people. So I always joke when Fred tries to sell it, it's going to be a two bedroom, two bath, sleeps 56, you know? And it's right on the lake and it's got a, he's got a boat house and it's just absolutely some of the greatest memories I've had in the past many, many years of parties at Fred's house. So I went back there and um, hey, breakfast was kind of laid out. And so I had some papaya, I had an avocado, I had about three handfuls of pistachios. I think I had anything else. Oh, and some blueberries. Yeah, and then about four, four glasses of tea. Then I drove home, two hours, in the rain. And then I had some blueberries when I got home. And I was craving string beans for some reason. What an odd thing to crave, I know. So I had some uh, French cut string beans and I added some olive oil, salt and pepper and mixed those together and ate those. Um, and then I had some super greens and essential source, so I didn't have any of Fred's. And I added two, te two, two, two teaspoons of uh, ground up chia seeds. And uh, then I took a nap and then I came here. So is that something you notice a lot, is that you eat, you know, like one thing at a time? Because, I mean, when I first started, you know, going plant-based and, uh -huh. and trying to cook, I was trying to make, like, a main dish and then, like, two or three side dishes. Oh, yeah. And it just, it was a lot of work, and it was just, it eventually became overkill. And I just started, yes. you know, I'll have some squash, and then I'll have some greens, or I'll just, I'll just have a salad. Or, yeah, it's called a mono meal. <laughs> a mono meal is just a thing, you know. Yeah, so I had... Some French cut string beans. Why I was craving those, I have no idea. And I know it sounds weird to you, but when you start eating healthy, these are the things you kind of, oh, those are string beans. Um, yeah, just, I, I eat a lot of mono meals. Oh, I had a, lot, I had a salad too, that's right. I had a salad today with some, some uh, sunflower seeds on it and a uh, 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 miso dressing. So, yeah, you'll, you'll find that you eat just simple things. And life is so much simpler. I haven't cleaned my stove now that summer's here. I've dusted it, but other than that, I haven't, I don't think I've even used my stove maybe three times in the past few months um, because you're eating a lot of plants and you don't really cook a lot which is kind of cool and I made some stuffed mushrooms for the party and I used my oven and of all the food there it was kind of cool you know you had they had uh, uh, meats and, and and cheeses and things like that the mushrooms first thing to go instantly gone so it's kind of cool quickly how many times a day can you take your essential source and super greens I wouldn't take them more than three um, if you're sick if you're tired if you have a specific issue um, but I like, um, I take them once a day, except on days like today, where it's an exception where I take them too. And I take the nitric oxide too, and the nitric oxide, like I said, that's stuff, for many reasons, you're gonna like the nitric oxide, trust me, it really helps your circulation. So. What else we got? <coughs> Coming back soon, so. Yeah, we get just I'm WSBD, Walters, Kirk Collins. Okay. Here's our weather. Atlanta weather. Forecast tonight. Isolated showers ending. Mostly cloudy. Department cloudy. Lows 66 to 69. And Dr. Joe, the Monday, coupon code is going to pop up right up here Lows next to the WSB sign. Tuesday, oh, right there? Right there. All right, folks, so keep watching. It's going to be right there. Your coupon code for free shipping. I think you'd be way too generous, but all right. I won't argue with you. You're the boss. 76 degrees on Peachtree Street at News 95.5 and AM 750 WSB. Depend on it. The information presented on this program is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. So, ooh, here, what was that? Wow, <laughs> super greens caught my throat. I just, just in front of God and everyone, Maude, I hit puberty right now, yes. Yeah, about time, geez. Been shaving all these years for nothing, so. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to shave? Well, you, you, you got that cool looking beard. You're just like, Maude's like, the, like the most handsome man in the world. And, and I, I will disagree with Eric Von Hessler. He says that Jared Yamamoto is the handsomest producer in all of producerhood. I think I got it right there. 
Yeah, Wednesday we did that live thing with, with uh, that was so much fun. We, we did a live lounge with um, uh, Eric Von Hessler's uh, people, and if you donated a certain amount of money to the uh, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta when we had a fundraiser, uh, you got invited, and it was so we did a live live performance, and it's 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 really cool. And Ahmad popped in, a celebrity sighting. Ahmad usually didn't pop in during the day, so it was great to see him there. And I thought we'd have a smackdown. I thought it'd be great, you and J you and Jared. And you know he drinks all the time and everything. He's probably hung over. You can kick his butt. So, but. I got a mod. That's all that matters. So, so anyway, uh, <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> so we're talking today, folks, about uh, stabilizing your blood sugar. And this is not just for diabetics and pre-diabetics. This is how you stay healthy. And uh, in a second, I'm going to go through a list of foods, superfoods. I know that, that that term is tossed around a lot, but foods that you want to maintain in your lifestyle every day to help stabilize your blood sugar. And you'll be amazed what happens. Play my game for me. Do me a favor. Here's your challenge. Do what I say. I was going to say 60 days. Do what I say for a week. And if I'm wrong, eh, I'm wrong. I lied to you. What, am I the first guy to ever lie to you? Um, but if I'm not, which I'm not, and I'm not lying to you, you'll say, wow, this is what people feel like. This is what it's supposed to feel like. I'm supposed to wake up not exhausted. I'm supposed to go to bed at night and fall asleep. I'm supposed to go to the bathroom. I'm supposed to have a, a good relationship with my family and friends and not be grumpy. I'm supposed to have a flat stomach? Yeah, that's normal. It's not average, it's normal. So do what I say for a week, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, so what? I lied, but if I'm right, then you wanna stick with it forever. So I'm gonna go through the list of the foods you wanna consider adding to your diet, and of course, Super Green's an essential source. And I always laugh, because first hour of the show, we give out the phone number for calls, and maybe a call will wander in here and there. As Soon as we hit the second hour, boom, phones light up. Where are you guys the first hour? You gotta start tuning in at seven o'clock on Sunday nights on WSB, and then you can start calling in right away. Now, you gotta do this. You gotta follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well because we air these shows live right now. We're streaming on Facebook and Instagram. You get to see my pretty face. And it's a lot of fun because uh, you can uh, listen and watch as well, and some people are more visual learners as well. And then if you have questions, you can also send them in through Facebook and Instagram. But if you wanna hear the questions, you gotta of course listen to WSB radio. 7.50 a.m., 95.5 FM, depend on it. And before I start answering callers, and I've got a lot of you there, we've got Evangelina, Helen, Willie, John. Before I get to you guys, you, you got to learn, if you haven't heard about the Convoy for Care yet, folks, you need to learn about this. We're partnering with Channel 2 News, the Atlanta Constitution, and we're activating the Convoy for Care to help the flood-ravaged communities up in the Carolinas. Uh, these hard-hit areas, if you've seen the damage, it's just unbelievable. I'm looking at the map right now, and Raleigh is just getting hammered right now and uh, Wilmington still has another whole band to, to go through. So we, what we need, we need diapers, we need water, bottled water, uh, and we need cleaning supplies. So what I want you to do is gather them up. If you don't, get, if you don't have them, go to the store and get them. And I want you to bring them here to the WSB studios at uh, 1610 West Peachtree Street. Tomorrow and Tuesday, between 10 and 6, we're gonna have 17 trailers. That's our goal, to load up 17 trailers and bring it to these folks who really need this badly. And